Now, in this video of WCF, we are going to cover a very essential concept that is the ABC of WCF. ABC is referred as the fundamental concepts of any particular topic, but with the WCF, ABC also means something technical, which we will see in this particular video. So as we have already discussed in the introduction of WCF that a single service may have multiple endpoints in order to serve the different kind of clients. So each endpoint here will be there for the making the communication and with the endpoint itself it will provide access to the functionalities offered by a WCF service. So whenever you will create a WCF service you will put some methods those will be the functionalities offered by the WCF service and that may be accessed by a client using the endpoints itself. But for preparing any endpoint, we require three things that is the A, B and C stand for address, binding and contract. So whenever we talk about an endpoint, compulsorily it will be having these three components inside it that is the address, binding and contract. So let's see what exactly these three things stands for. Address, as you know, address is means a, lo means a location, right? So uniquely identifies the endpoint and tells where the service is located, all right? So at a particular service means on a particular server or IP address with the port number, a service would be located. So you can directly access using the address. Now, as we know, like WCF offers a different kind of communication that is using the HTTP using any other protocol like TCP, MSMQ and all. So on the basis of that, we have the different bindings that stands for B. All right, binding specifies how to communicate with the endpoint. We got the location. Now I want to make a communication and binding will tell us how to make the communication. So it will be consisting two things inside the transport protocol and encoding which is to be used all right that is maybe text or binary which kind of uh, binding which kind of encoding you are going to work with and the second thing is the security requirements like whether it is going to have any SSL that is secured socket layer or a SOAP message security which kind of security it's going to contain inside it and the last thing is the contract Basically, whenever you will create the WCF service, which we are going to create in just a couple of videos after. So whenever we'll create a service, you will observe that we create some number of contracts such as the service contract, operation contract and those contracts will tell that what is the structure of a WCF service and what all functionalities we are going to provide. So, contract basically outlines what functionality the endpoint exposes to the client all right that's what i talk about it tells about the methods to be called by a client including the signature means whenever you know like whenever we create a method in c sharp it has a signature so that signature will be uh, described by the service contract and later the method will be defined by the operation contract so these are the contract which will tell any particular service like what all things we need to expose to the client. Now, let's discuss about the endpoint behaviors. Basically, endpoint behavior is something which is used to make the customization to the endpoint at the runtime. So these behaviors would be having a very much concerns with the runtime itself. Like first of all, if you want to make any changes in the default behavior or that is on the local behavior, you can make the changes using the endpoint behaviors and it will also participate in the process of building the WCF runtime. So when you will be deploying it, this endpoint behavior will be in the action at that particular time. So this is about the ABC of WCF. Now in our next video, we'll cover the concept of binding and contracts in a much detail and then we will start with the implementation of WCF.